welcome to a thought for today. And today I want to read you a scripture about what the Lord is going to do when he returns at his second coming. There's a very dramatic event that's going to happen. And I want you to sit back, get your favorite beverage, cup of tea, cup of coffee, water, whatever it may be. Sit back and just listen as I read Zechariah chapter 14, uh, verses 3 through seven. And then I'll make some comments as, as I read this to you. It's very interesting. Um, and it's in the future that this is going to happen. And the Lord and the in, in Zechariah chapter 14, just really outlines carefully what's going to take place. And then if you're so inclined, you can read Revelation chapter 19 to see the battle that Jesus our Lord is going to engage in with the nations of the world to really make the announcement that he is the king of kings, lord of lords. And a new sheriff is in town and has come in a miraculous way to planet Earth. And the world is going to live by his standard of justice, of mercy, of grace, compassion, etc. So let's start Zechariah chapter 14, verse 3. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations as he fights in the day of battle. And in that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, which faces Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall split in two from east to west, making a very large valley. Half of the mountain shall move toward the north, and half of it shall move toward the south. Then you shall flee through my mountain valley, for the mountain valley shall reach to Azel. Yes, you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. Thus the Lord my God will come, and all the saints with you. It shall come to pass in that day that there will be no light. The lights will diminish. It shall be one day which is known to the Lord, neither day nor night. But at evening it shall happen that it will be light. And in that day it shall be that living waters shall flow from Jerusalem half of them toward the eastern sea and half of them toward the western sea. In both summer and winter it shall occur, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day it shall be, the Lord is one and his name one. And so you have it. Jesus is going to touch down as he comes out of the heavens. He's going to land on the Mount of Olives. 
You remember in the Gospels, the Lord used to retreat a lot to the Mount of Olives. He found great comfort there. He really enjoyed spending alone time on the Mount of Olives. Unde- you know, undoubtedly, this scripture was probably racing at times through his mind and heart. And as he stood on the Mount of Olives, he replayed this scripture, Zechariah chapter 14, verses 3 through 8. Actually, verses 3 uh, three through 9. He would replay this, I'm sure, in his mind. And he could see what he was going to do at his second coming and what was going to transpire. Imagine, as soon as his foot touches the Mount of Olives, it splits in two. And rivers of living water flow from Jerusalem toward the eastern sea and the other half toward the western sea. In both summer and winter, it will happen. It's amazing what the Lord is going to do. And it's not going to take a thousand years for this to happen. As soon as his foot touches, the mountain gets split in two and rivers of living water pour from the Mount of Olives right into the right into the center of Jerusalem where the Lord's throne will be up on that mount Mount Moriah. What an amazing day that's going to be. You know, today we live in very perilous times. Our president, Russia, Iran, and now Moldova, which has been a friend to Russia, There is now stirrings going on in Moldova that Putin of Russia wants to really declare that as as his land. And this could be the, the fire that lights the next war that could be on the horizon. If this were to happen, this could start World War III. This is developing. China is developing the ability to make water on the moon now, to be able to prepare to to move some of their people to the moon and actually live there. A lot is going on. You, You turn on the news, you see kids killing one another in our high schools, our elementary schools. You see people butchering and murdering one another in the streets. It's as though the people of planet Earth that don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior are losing their minds to the deception, the lies, the cheating, the fear, the anger, the hatred, and it goes on and on. And they're, it's as though they're possessed by demonic influences in their lives. They don't even make sense anymore when they speak. Well, one day, The trumpets from heaven are going to blast. And Jesus, remember what the scripture said in Zechariah, all all the lights are off. The stars aren't giving off their lights. It's pitch black on planet Earth. 
And it's as though God the Father has set the stage for his son. And then all of a sudden, you're going to hear the crack of like a, just like the thunders in the heavens talking and announcing the coming of the great king. And Jesus is going to appear in the atmosphere in this darkness. And you're going to see Jesus and all of the host of heaven with him. And he's going to, at the speed of thought, I'm sure, just land on the Mount of Olives with such force. It's going to bust that mountain wide open. I mean, try to get your mind around that. Try to see it in your mind's eye, what that might look like. And for those that are on earth, that are, we would call the great tribulation saints, that have lived through the great tribulation and made it through, imagine how they will feel to see their king appearing in the atmosphere with light all in him and through him and around him. The scriptures in Revelation say that his eyes will be a blaze of fire. His feet and his calves will be like bronze in the fire, molten bronze. And the light of God, his father, will be in him and bursting out of him. Who could stand when he, in his anger, makes war with the nations of the world that hate him? A look from him and a declaration, the word of God coming out of his mouth and with a two-edged sword as he speaks, the, as he speaks the word of God, because you know, that's one of the Lord Jesus's names, not a title. One of his names is the word of God. And as he speaks, that word will proceed out of his mouth and it will accomplish the thing that his heart is set on. And that is the destruction of the enemies of God, his father. That's what's coming. I mean, I could tell you and speculate with you about things that are happening in our world today and how they may turn out or they may not turn out. But this, I can tell you for sure, is going to happen. Now, is it going to happen in our lifetimes? I don't know. But one day, it will happen. As sure as I'm sharing my thoughts with you today, it's going to happen. And you know what? That's what we should be praying for. So your action step today is to pray and ask God to save as many people as he can and to use you as an instrument to speak to people that are around you about the love of God that's in Christ our Lord. We need to do it, and we need to share Jesus with people before it's too late and the window starts to close because the world is getting ready to go into that period of time, the time of Jacob's trouble. That's going to be one of the worst periods that has ever happened in the world, the worst time of tribulation, trouble, 
disaster. Just read the book of Revelation, chapter 6, all the way to chapter 19. If you want to understand what's going to happen during the Great Tribulation, read those scriptures. And you just, it's, it's just, uh, how is anyone going to survive the anger and wrath of God? So pray for the people you know and ask God to save them and ask God to use you in their lives. And then praise his holy name that through Jesus, our Lord and Savior, you have eternal life and all your sins have been forgiven and the wrath of God the Father will pass over you and me because we've put our faith in his dear son. This is Bro Steph. Thank you for listening today. I'll see you on the next A Thought for today. And remember, keep looking up. Jesus is coming back. Bye for now.